when Marvel revealed a huge video game initiative coming at us that would focus on quality video games starting with Marvel Spider-Man, then followed by an Avengers game, Guardians of the Galaxy, Miles Morales, and countless other games that have been announced since then, like Wolverine for example, Midnight Suns coming later this year, and Iron Man most recently revealed, there's some hope that people have that some of these games will be connected and in a shared universe. Well, Marvel Games is here to disappoint you. So to quickly go over what we recently found out is the fact that if you had any hopes of a shared universe for video games, abandon those hopes. Um, even it sounds like with Insomniac, I know a lot of people figured, well, it's Insomniac games. So obviously they're going to connect their upcoming Wolverine game with the Spider-Man universe, right? It doesn't sound like that that's in the cards. Again, this could just be them trying to throw us off, at least on that one. If any of these were connected, I would honestly suspect that this would be the one just because of the Insomniac connection. But outside of that... Anything new, the upcoming Iron Man game, that will in no way, shape, or form connect to the Avengers game that came out, and that's probably for the best. But it's also not going to connect to Marvel Spider-Man, Wolverine, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Midnight Suns, or any other game that's in development. Essentially, every new game that you're going to get, every new IP, will be its own unique Marvel Universe. And I think this was made very apparent and very clear when they announced that EA Iron Man game, because right there in it, they say a brand new Marvel Universe. I think that's your kind of um, tell, if you will, that you don't need to speculate and you know worry over whether the Spider-Man that's going to be mentioned in Iron Man or possibly shows up as the same one. It's not. Now, in some ways, this is honestly a good thing, because can you imagine you drop Iron Man as EA on all these other consoles, right? You drop it on Xbox or maybe even Switch or whatever they do, right? Those people can't play Spider-Man. They're missing a giant piece of the puzzle. And Sony isn't going to let them use the same Spider-Man. So what, do you not show Spider-Man if he shows up on the PlayStation version, but in the Xbox and Nintendo version, you replace him with somebody else? Same with Wolverine. So essentially, everybody's just making independent games, which I think honestly has its advantages and disadvantages. And then it also kind of um, doesn't make everything necessary, right? Again, I think it would have been problematic if you would have said that the Spider-Man in the Avengers game is the same Spider-Man as Insomniacs. Then you're just pigeonholed into this whole corner of the universe and story that you have to address, and that's just too much. And all these competitive rival game developers aren't going to work together. So it makes sense. A little disappointing, but let's just hope for the best games and see what they deliver.